Okay, recording started. Um, hi, welcome. Welcome, uh, Laris uh, uh, Strawman. I hope I said your name right. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, wonderful. First of all, I, I, I want to say thank you for taking the time to do this interview with us, especially on this difficult, difficult time, all the way from Sweden. Um, when I heard about your story and you shared on um, social media on Facebook, um, I was very moved by your solidarity toward the Somali community. I could see that you're wearing the Somali flag and I know you have uh, a relationship with the Somali community that goes way back in the past. First of all, um, I know there is a large uh, Somali community that has been affected by coronavirus in Sweden, comparing to the rest of the world. So first of all, I want to welcome you to Dekka Nur Show. On this segment, um, it's, it's, it's about solidarity among human race, and also uh, you being an example um, of really uh, showing care and generosity and passionate to uh, to your community. Welcome, welcome, Lars. Welcome. Now, thank you, thank you. Uh, shall I tell you about my relationship with Somalia now? Uh, I visited Somalia the first time in 1977, when I was 18 years old. And I visited Somalia a few more times since then. So I have a relationship with Somalia since over 40 years. <clears throat> and the last two or three years or so, I have started to um, help, uh, help the uh, Somali young people in, in my city. Uh, with their homework and so on. So I try to do that one, once or twice a week. Uh, so so I, 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 I have uh, I have a passion for Somalia and uh, I often meet uh, young people from Somalia here, here in, um, in Örebro where I live. Thank you so much. Um, and what about today? What made you wear the T-shirt that you're wearing, and what does it stands for to you? Well, uh, <clears throat> I love this country, so so I bought it a few a few years ago from a Somali shop here in here in my city. But uh, when I heard about uh, the racism about Somalis that was spread in social media uh, connected to uh, the coronavirus. Uh, then, then I thought this was an, uh, a, a, a good act of solidarity. I, 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 I took a picture with myself or with this t-shirt on and I wear it during the day. Maybe I should wear it a little bit more often, in fact. Especially this time, right? This yes. very difficult time. And yeah. for the rest of us who are the Somali diaspora, around the world and the Somalis back in the Somalia are very concerned, very, um, very devastated by the Somalis um, in Sweden. And we are very um, scared of what's happening to them, especially, you know, us being a, 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 you know, a minority in, 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 in the um, abroad. And uh, to have, you know, you do this for, for us in, in a very difficult time, uh, it means so much. And that's why, you know, I have invited you to come to the show to really let other uh, Somali diasporas in the Somali community know that we have friends who love us, who care about us, who cry with us in a difficult times and you're giving that hope to us. You're giving that um, friendship, you know, 
and uh, what do you think about that like what do you think about people coming together with with COVID-19 and what's happening around the world what do you think you should tell people well I, I think it's we, we are fighting about against the coronavirus all the world around now mm -hmm. also in Sweden but I would say in that fight there is no room whatsoever for racism. We have to do it together. Um, that and that's it. Um, even if it's even if it's uh, uh, inside your home, because we can go outside, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. In, in Sweden, we still can go outside. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we we see how that will be within a few weeks or so, but mm -hmm. but we had we had uh, an example. The figures are changing every day now on, on how many people are dying. In Stockholm, three days ago, they reported fifteen dead, and six of them were Somalis. And the figures on the Somalis came from a Swedish Somali uh, community of of doctors uh, of medical. Um, <coughs> And that means that we must get out information to the Somali community more effectively. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it, it, is, it is not good enough to make leaflets in Somali and hand them all out. You have to, to do it in different ways. I, I think, for example, in an editorial, I'm a journalist, I, I, I wrote an editorial today saying that they should start uh, some sort of hotline for, via phone. Uh, where, where Somalis can uh, ask questions about uh, about the coronavirus because because if they don't know it there is a there is a risk of different kinds of rumors and fake news and all that. You know that is you raised a very very crucial and a very important thing because this is the way we can fight coronavirus. Uh, by having the right information, sharing, supporting, and that's exactly, you know, ways that we can reduce, right? Like we can reduce the spread of coronavirus. And, um, you know, I'm very happy that you are one of those people who understand why it's so important to share these uh, crucial information that can um you know save lives uh here in 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 in, in north america um you know uh we try to make sure that we're sharing that information stay home you know wash hands every you know uh, to, to, for 20 seconds um you know making sure that people are staying away from distance like uh, social uh, distancing um what do you think about uh, uh, mayor of a city called Minneapolis? Uh, it's in the United States, it's in uh, Minnesota. Um, he was one of the mayors who um, tried to tell the news uh, to the Somali community in the Somali language. Um, well, that is, of course, excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, that is excellent. Uh, yes, Mayor Mayor Jacob yeah. Jacob. Yeah, yeah, that's excellent, of course. Um, and in, in from Minneapolis, you also have have uh, a member, the representative Ilhan Omar, which is Congress Ilhan. Is well known among Somalis all over the world. Now. And they uh, also have a, a councillor uh, uh, Abdi Warsame as well yeah, so yeah. they have a lot of you know yeah. that 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 helps yeah absolutely sure. absolutely sure. Mm -hmm. uh you know i just wanted to, the viewers that are gonna watch this uh to see the uh, we see the somali flag with the uh, the the five uh the star with the yeah. you know and um yeah. and it says if you pull it up a little bit it says uh uh Somalia, we can see the S, yeah. where is the S, yeah. like, yeah, Somalia, you know, yeah. I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you so much for really taking the time 
to come on and share this story uh, of, 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 you know, of, of the human race coming together. And um, I just want to thank you. I just want to really thank you for um, this is all we can do. And you're doing yeah. your part. You're doing your part. You're, thank you, thank you you're, for having me. Thank you yeah. so much. And a lot of people are, are going to watch this and they're going to be so happy to see um, someone that reaching out to them in time of uh, agony and time of sorrow. And, and across the world, we thank you for the wonderful, wonderful work that you're doing from your own home, from your own community, and spreading the love around the world, especially uh, a community that is um, really uh, in a time of, of, of sorrow and, 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 and grief. Um, I want to wish the Somali community in, uh, in Sweden all the best. Uh, all the Sweden uh, people, I wish them all the best. And all the people around the world, I wish them all the best. And we can do this together. We can beat coronavirus. We have yeah. to, we're all in this together. What is your last word you want to say to people? Um, continue to fight for your rights. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lars. Thank you so much. Alamudan, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.